Several members of the Fort Wayne Community School Board are celebrating tonight after learning some news in the midst of its board meeting. Indiana House Bill 1134, which was named Education Matters, failed to pass the state Senate. Fox 55's Drew Fry is outside the Fort Wayne Community School Administration building to tell us more about that. Drew. Yeah, Chris, so when Dr. Mark Daniel, the superintendent, read that news aloud in the middle of the school board meeting today, he caught a large round of applause from school board members as well as some members of the audience. House Bill 1134 was largely based on concerns over critical race theory, and it would have prohibited educators from discussing certain topics in the classroom while giving parents more of a say on curriculum throughout the school year. The bill was heavily watered down in the state Senate and not brought up for a second reading today. That means that the bill is largely dead. But this certainly wasn't meant to be the focus of the meeting. The board approved funding for technology upgrades and discussed how to connect students better to the community through private partnerships. But by the end of the meeting, House Bill 1134 was the main talking point. Multiple school board members visited Indianapolis recently to share their concerns with legislators. It's really important for us to pay attention to do our research, to contact the people that represent us, to share ideas, uh, and to really stay involved in the process. Booker says she's surprised to see the bill die, but she's certainly excited about it. She and other board members say they don't want to celebrate too early, though, since lawmakers could try to introduce similar amendments to other bills or introduce a stronger bill next session. In fact, some of the parents who were here today originally were here to protest mask mandates, which are no longer in place in Fort Wayne community schools. But they say that they oppose House Bill 1134 for a completely different reason. One parent I talked to says it doesn't go far enough to limit social emotional learning in the classroom. That would be something such as critical race theory. She says the school board hasn't been responsive enough to parents' concerns. Reporting live in Fort Wayne, I'm Drew Fry, Fox 55 News.